Hi, I'm Kiki from Kika Goods. Today we are going to unbox Emma Secret Forest Celebration Series Blind Box. Before diving in, let's see the other Emma series. You can get them from our online store. And don't forget to hit subscribe button in the lower right corner for more unboxing reviews. So this is how the box looks. The illustration is really beautiful. And from the cover, it looks very joyful. I can't wait to witness how amazing these figures are. There is a birthday candle on the cover, which is one of the more popular ones in this series. Of course, there are eight other different styles on the side, including a hidden one. I really hope to get this hidden one. Okay, let's see what's waiting for us in this first blind box. Oh, I'm pretty sure what I got. It's the sunflower figure. You see, Emma is wearing a sunflower around its face. And with the flower framing it, its cheeks look especially cute. On top of its head, it's wearing a small, delicate crown. I thought Emma were always bunnies. But it's not dressed as a bunny. It's actually a little sheep with adorable little horns. It's also holding a small sunflower in its hand, which is super cute. This sunflower looks a bit different from what we usually picture. It's not yellow, but a soft shade of purple, which I think very gentle and lovely. Her collar is the classic design we're all familiar with. Really a nice touch to the whole look. So obviously, I'm a big fan of this Emma series. I think this Emma is very healing and warm. Okay, let's go on, it's the second one. Wow, it's clear that this is Emma's plate. Emma series always manages to surprise us. Holding it in my hand, it feels incredibly delicate. You know, Emma figures may seem simple, but there are always so many amazing details at the same time like the texture parts. Unlike the first one, this time it's a bunny Emma, with her two ears standing up adorably. Emma is sitting in a plate, and from this side it almost looks like a framed photo. The question is, where should we display it? Don't worry, because it comes with an accessory. Let's take a look together. I really like the stand accessory, it has a triangular structure, which I think will be super sturdy. Just like that. Imagine that it's perfect as a decoration to place on a desk. So how do you feel about this Emma's plate? Here we have number three. Truly, I'm hoping for that cake one. Oh, it's not the cake figure. But the birthday candle on the cover. This one is also one of my favorites. Let's take a closer look at this one. As a candle, there's no doubt that the thing on top of its head is its flame. But have you ever seen a translucent white flame? It's crystal clear, almost like a little crystal ball. Here, Emma's collar part melted into the shape of dripping wax. It seems like Emma has truly become one with the candle. When we turn it around, you'll see a large, pearlescent purple bow on the back which is absolutely gorgeous. Speaking of candles, we all know they play an important and romantic role at birthday parties. So I think this Emma would be perfect for birthday photos. Either way, I really adore this sweet and gentle little Emma. All right, let's move on to the next one. With these expectations in mind, these figures didn't let me down. Look at this one, your gift is ready here. As we can see, the whole figure looks just like a gift basket. Let me take a closer look at this gift from Emma. This one seems to be a little dear, with two adorable and transparent antlers. The coolest part is the bow hair accessory, which looks so fancy. The long ribbons on both sides resemble the handles of a gift basket. Such a clever design. Little Emma is sweetly lying on top, and I absolutely love the two roses at the front. When you turn it around, 
The back is just as charming, especially with the beautifully folded details. If you give this sweet gift to your friends, I'm sure they'll also love it. So, you want to take this gift home? Up next, I am so curious about this one. I'm pretty sure I got the Emma's wreath. What's a birthday party without flowers? So Emma Fuge brings us this beautiful wreath. As we can see, the whole design is filled with floral elements, especially on the head, with an orange and green color combination. That feels so fresh and makes the flowers look elegant. Even its collar matches the floral theme. I do think it makes the whole look stunning. Look at those little ears. It's a adorable cat. There's also a cute little tail hidden at the back. And of course, you know, the bow is a signature Emma element that everyone loves. It's really, really pretty. I hope you'll love this series as much as I do. Now, turning our attention to this one, will it be a secret one? Oh, it's just a regular figure, but so impressed by this one. It's Emma's birthday cake. Honesty, I absolutely love this birthday themed figure series. Each one is amazing. I can't wait to admire the details of this one. The headband is as beautiful as always, but what really stands out to me is the color combination and the glossy finish. It's simply stunning. It's like a heart-shaped strawberry chocolate cake, which happens to be my favorite flavor. How to say, it looks so fluffy, like sponge. And the chocolate on top is incredibly smooth, almost very realistic and delicious. By the way, even the feet are shaped like little hearts, which is just adorable. It's a piece with great artistic sense, and I highly recommend it. Okay, this one. You can guess which style we're going to open. Do you like this one? Our sweet macchiato. I really love this color. It perfectly showcases Emma's soft and sweet aura. Emma is adorably seated in a small cup, dressed as a cute little bunny. Here, I want to say, Emma's outfits are always so refined and irresistible, especially with her little flower on her head and the classic bow elements that never fail to charm. The cup looks like it has a mosaic design, and it's filled to the brim with milkshake almost overflowing. Honestly, my favorite part is definitely the cup. It looks fantastic, and I'd love to have one just like it. I definitely want to collect this Emma the most. What about you? Come on, let's open up the last one and appreciate it. Finally, it's time to make a wish. You see, little Emma is resting its chin on its hands. And I wonder what it's wishing for. This design seems to be the simplest in the series, but I really like it. Typically, we make wishes on our birthdays, and the moment is always filled with anticipation and hope. If you had to make a wish, how about wishing for wealth? That's a pretty wish to me. So, are you attracted by these cute little Emmas today? Thank you so much for watching our blind box unboxing video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to smash that like button and share it with your fellow collectors. And of course, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more unboxing content. This is Kiki from Kika Goods. See you next time.